Hello and welcome to Daily Prelims Practice, an initiative of Rouse IAS. Here we take up important articles from the Hindu and the Indian Express and curate MCQs as per the demand of the civil services exam. Articles covered today are shown in the screen and the detailed description in PDF and Word format can be found on the description box. So let us begin. Starting off with the first article of the day. This article appeared in page 13 of today's The Hindu Newspaper. The article reports that the Indian National Congress is planning to move a resolution against the Speaker for being unfair to the opposition. Presiding officers of both the Houses of the Parliament forms an important part of the polity section. It is important from prelims point of view, which is apparent from last year's PYQ on Deputy Speaker of Lok Sabha. On similar lines, Here's practice question number one. With the reference to Speaker of Lok Sabha, consider the following statements. Statement one. He vacates his office whenever the Lok Sabha is dissolved. Now this statement is incorrect because it should be noted that whenever the Lok Sabha is dissolved, the Speaker does not vacate his office and continues till the newly elected Lok Sabha meets. Statement two. He can be removed by resolution passed by a majority of members who are present and voting in Lok Sabha. Now this statement is also incorrect as a speaker can be removed only when the resolution has been passed by majority of all the then members of Lok Sabha. This is also known as effective majority which is the difference between total strength and the number of seats that are vacant at that particular time. Statement third. A resolution for removal of speaker can be moved only after 14 days of advance notice. Now this statement is correct. Statement 4. A speaker can vote in the first instance when the resolution for his removal is under consideration. Now this statement is correct because when the resolution for the removal of speaker is under consideration, he cannot preside over the sitting of the house, although he can speak and take part in the proceedings of the house and vote in the first instance, although he cannot cast a vote in case there is an equality. Now, which of the following statement given above are correct? From the above discussion, we can conclude that the statement 3 and 4 is correct, thus making option C the right answer. Now, as far as PYQ is concerned, option A was the right answer. Now, moving on to the second article of the day which appeared in page 14 of the Hindu newspaper. The article reports that the price of 384 essential drugs and over 1000 formulations are set to see a surge from April 1st. This means that the consumers have to pay more for routine and essential drugs such as painkillers, anti-infection drugs, cardiac drugs and antibiotics. Now regulation of goods in the market forms an important part of government's policy in India. This is also important from prelims point of view as well, which is apparent from this PYQ of the year 2015 on regulation of agricultural products. On similar lines, here's practice question number 2. Consider the following statements about pharmaceutical pricing in India. Statement 1. National list of essential medicine 2022 is notified by the Department of Pharmaceuticals under the Ministry of Chemicals and Fertilizer. Now this statement is incorrect because Ministry of Health and Family Welfare notifies the national list of essential medicines. Statement 2. Prices of drugs included in the national list of essential medicines are fixed by taking the average of all brands who have a market share of more than 10%. Now this statement is also incorrect because the government fixes the price based on average of all brands who have a market share of 1% or more and not 10%. Statement third, maximum retail prices of the drugs included in the national list of essential medicines is revised annually based on consumer price index. This statement is incorrect because the revision of the prices are according to the wholesale price index for the preceding calendar year and is notified on 1st of April every year. Now which of the following statements given above is or are correct? From the above discussion, we can conclude that none of the above options are correct, making option D the right answer. As far as PYQ is concerned, option B was the right answer. Moving on to the third article of the day, 
which appeared in page 14 of the Hindu newspaper. The article reports that the government is re-examining its proposal to move Asiatic land from Gir in Gujarat to Kuno National Park in Madhya Pradesh so as to provide the cheetahs in Kuno National Park a stress-free environment. Protected areas like national park, wildlife sanctuaries, its flora, fauna, climatic conditions and their geographical locations are important from prelims point of view which is apparent from this PYQ of 2015 which asked a question about varied climatic conditions of a national park. On similar lines, here's practice question number 3. Consider the following paragraph. This national park saved the endangered Bara Singha from extinction. The forest is naturally divided into a highland and lowland. Banjar and Helon are two rivers that flow within this park. It is also home to the endangered Dhol Indian species of wild dog. The forest was depicted in the famous novel by Rudyard Kipling, The Jungle Book, and it is based on jungles included in this park. It is also the first tiger reserve in India to officially introduce a mascot called Bhur Singh the Barasinga. The above lines are describing which of the following national parks. Is it Kanha National Park, Bandhavgarh National Park, Pench or Panna National Park. Now, the answer to this question is Kanha National Park, as Kanha is the largest national park in the state of Madhya Pradesh. The present day, Kanha's area is divided into two protected areas, Helon and Banjar, of 250 and 300 square kilometers respectively. The national park was created in June 1955 and was designated as a tiger reserve in the year 1973. It encompasses an area of 940 square kilometers around the two districts Mandla and Balaghat. Kanha Tiger Reserve also hosts population of Bengal Tiger, Indian Leopard, Dhol, Sloth Bear, Bengal Fox and Indian Jekyll. The Bara Singha is adapted to swampy areas, while the Gaur inhabits meadows and water holes in the park. As far as PYQ is concerned, option D was the right answer. Moving on to the fourth article of the day, which appeared in page 14 of the Hindu newspaper. The article reports that the National Commission for Protection of Child Rights has written to the heads of all states and union territories education boards stating that it is the duty of schools to ensure that the children with type 1 diabetes are provided with proper care and required facilities. Communicable, non-communicable disease as well as genetic disease are often in news which makes developments regarding them a key area of interest for UPSC, which is apparent from this PYQ of 2017 on hereditary diseases. Thus, borrowing from today's news article, here's practice question number 4. Consider the following statements with reference to diabetes. Statement 1. Type 1 diabetes is usually diagnosed in children and in young people. Now this statement is correct because diabetes is a lifelong condition that causes a person's blood glucose level to become high. The hormone insulin is produced by the pancreas and is responsible for controlling the amount of glucose in the blood. However, type 1 diabetes is usually diagnosed in children and in young people. Thus, it is also known as a juvenile diabetes. It is characterized by deficient insulin production and requires a daily administration of insulin. Statement 2. Type 1 diabetes occurs when body's immune system destroys the insulin producing beta cells of the pancreas. Now this statement is incorrect because it is type 1 diabetes in which the body's immune system destroys the insulin making beta cells. Whereas type 2 diabetes results from body's ineffective use of insulin. It occurs when the body does not produce enough insulin to function properly or the body's cell do not react to insulin. This means that the glucose stays in blood and is not used as a fuel for energy. This type of diabetes is often diagnosed in older people. However, it is now frequent in population with any age group. Now which of the following statement given above is or are correct? From the above discussion, we can conclude that the option A is the right answer. As far as PYQ is concerned, option C was the right answer. Now moving on to the fifth article of the day, 
which appeared in page 16 of the Hindu newspaper. The article highlights that India has come under the fire at the World Trade Organization for avoiding questions raised by its members on its Minimum Support Program or MSP. Now India's MSP program and public stockholding measures for ensuring food security is an important topic in the economy section and has been asked by UPSC before, which is clear from this 2020 PYQ. On similar lines, here's practice question number 5. Consider the following statements. Statement 1. Government fixes minimum support prices or MSP for 23 mandated agricultural crops. Now this statement is incorrect because government fixes MSP for 22 agricultural crops and fair and remunerative price for sugarcane and it is fixed on the basis of recommendations of commission for agricultural cost and prices otherwise known as CACP. Statement 2. Present methods of fixing MSP includes implied cost of rent of land in addition to other expenditures incurred by the farmers. Now this statement is also incorrect because there are three methods of fixing MSP and the current method is known as A2 plus FL method which includes expenditure on various inputs, implied cost of family labor. However, this method does not include the implied cost of rent of land. Statement third, MSP do not enjoy statutory recognition. Now this statement is correct. Although in farmers' protest, farmer groups have been demanding for legalization of MSP. However, in its present status, MSP do not enjoy any statutory recognition. It means that the government is under no obligation to purchase all the commodities for which the MSP have been declared. Now, which of the following statements given above is or are correct? From the above discussion, we can conclude that the option B is the right answer. Whereas PYQ is concerned, option D was the right answer. Now moving on to the last article of the day, which appeared on page 16 of the Hindu newspaper. Here, the Commerce Secretary has cited an Asian Development Bank estimate to show that there is a trade financing shortfall and he emphasized on the need for cooperation among the member countries of G20 to tackle key issues. Intergovernmental bodies and multilateral groupings along with India's participation in it is an important part of a new cycle, thus making them important from prelims point of view. This is apparent from PYQ of 2022 on Asian Infrastructure and Investment Bank. On similar lines, here's practice question number 6. With reference to Asian Development Bank, consider the following statements. Statement 1. It is headquartered in Tokyo. Now this statement is incorrect as Asian Development Bank or ADB is headquartered in Manila in Philippines. Statement 2. Japan is the largest shareholder in ADB. Now this statement is correct because Japan along with the United States commands 15.6% of total vote share. The third comes China with 6.4%, fourth is India with 6.3% of vote share and fifth is Australia with 5.8% of vote share. Statement third, the majority of ADB's members are from Asia Pacific region. Now this statement is correct because out of total of 68 members, 49 members are from Asia Pacific regions. Important members like Japan, India, China are from this region only. However, the grouping also has 19 members from outside the region, which include US, United Kingdom, Canada, among other countries. Now from the above discussion, we can conclude that statement 2 and 3 are correct, thus making option B the right answer. As far as PYQ is concerned, option A was the right answer.